I'm a congenital interventional cardiologist. Uh, I take care of both pediatric and adult patients with congenital heart disease, and that's heart disease that they were born with. What's really great is you see these uh, families and these patients, you know, 5, 10, 15 years down the road, and the patient doesn't remember anything, um, but the families all remember kind of the, the emotion that went along with that initial diagnosis and those initial treatments. I was uh, born and raised in Naples, Florida. My uh, father was a dentist there. My mother was a guidance counselor in an elementary school. And I just remember always growing up being interested in the medical field uh, and kind of being driven that way. As an interventional cardiologist, I'm one member of the team. We can uh, treat holes in the heart, which are commonly are like patent ductus arteriosus or atrial septal defects. Um, we can also treat narrowed areas, um, which could be like pulmonary artery stenosis or even coarctation of the aorta. And then some patients, like patients with tetralogy of flow, can be candidates for a valve replacement without surgery. I spend a lot of time with the family uh, and, and talk to them about what we are planning on doing and why uh, we want to, what we're hoping to get out of it. I think at, at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, we really rely on each other's expertise to kind of help manage uh, the patient. And so we, we come together as a group uh, to utilize our strengths um, to, to make sure that we are providing every possible option uh, for these patients. Um, I'm a very visual person, so I frequently will draw out hearts, even though I'm not the, maybe the best artist, or even use some of our advanced imaging, maybe CT scans of the patient's heart, to kind of explain exactly what's going on and exactly what we would like to do to make that heart work better. My experience is just that these patients are so resilient. We, we look at a lot of these like small babies with heart disease and there's a lot of concern that, um, that they're so fragile. And in a sense they are, um, but they're also some of the strongest patients that I've ever seen. And it is very rewarding to see many of these patients go on to become you know, older teenagers and adults that are, that are doing very, very well after all of their cardiac procedures.